Hi, I'm Carla Niles. I'm the fastest rugby player in the world, and this is how I train. My favorite thing about playing rugby is just running fast. <laughs> I got into rugby. I wanted to inspire people, show them that you can do anything you put your mind to. And I never played the sport of rugby ever in my life, nor heard of it really. And um, I just felt like I could use my gift. I like that it's tenacious, it's a tenacious sport, but I really love expressing myself and through rugby I can do that. The most important things to focus on when it comes to rugby is everything. There's so many details, you know, learning, you know, how to create space for yourself, learning the line speed, also tackling, proper tackling technique, conditioning, your aerobic and anaerobic system. So everything, the thing is everything fits into one. This is a core one. A lot of people don't have control over the core, and that's where um, energy leakage can happen or injury. So this one's very important. The next move is resistance, but also it's a reactive strength. Um, and you gotta have to jump high while using the bands wanna pull you down. You kinda wanna be as stiff as possible, getting on and off the ground while the band is trying to compress you. The point of this is basically it's strengthening up your hip flexors, isometrically um, be able to withstand the amount of force um, that is pulling you down. Everything engaged in one, um, be able to hold that force and actually do it for a long period of time. This is a resistance step down. What this is working on is be able to produce force to the ground um, while keeping your foot dorsiflex. Most people, when you run, don't attack the ground, and this helps me um, when I'm playing rugby to be able to separate from defenders, work on my drive phase, work on my top end phase, and always attack the ground. Probably I eat two breakfasts in the morning, one before training, one after. Eggs, oatmeal, fruit, I probably eat that twice. So I do that my first session, I do that my second. And I probably get a little a bagel of protein in more after my, my weight session with more, a little more protein. You know, lunch, chicken, broccoli, uh, some type of vegetables. And then I'll have fruit. It's kind of boring. Uh, but then after that, I go to my session and I have a protein shake after. And then I just kind of eat the same or same or different. Uh, I have like some type of fish. And then, of course, your veggies. And I always have fruit and just water, water, water. Process is grueling. You know, I think you look at the, the outcome of, of rugby and how fun it is or you know, the place you get to travel and realize that when it's time to get to the nitty gritty that, you know, it's a lot of sacrifices, it's a lot of hard work and it's gonna test you mentally and physically. And if you're not ready for it, especially to go to dark places because it's gonna take you to dark places, it's gonna be doubts and there's gonna be times it's just tough. You don't know how you're gonna wake up in the next morning and keep going or get through the second session or third second session. When you go into contact and you're hitting guys and you're hitting boom, boom. You know, guys get, you know, their fingers stepped on, somebody may tear their knees, somebody getting their nose bleed or you getting a black eye and you just get up and you just keep on going. 